Today is day number eight of our inventory management exploration or training. And today we are going to look at managing warehouses in ERP Next. I know that um, we already looked at how to create warehouses in our previous videos, but today I want us to dive deeper into uh, more concepts about warehouses. So I've prepared the three slides here. Actually, the first one has only this content because again, I want to dive into the most important uh, things, not just the theory. Number one, I would like to quickly discuss the key characteristics rather of a warehouse and these are number one and by the way what is a warehouse because uh, uh, we may not know what a warehouse is or some people may be hearing warehouse and start thinking that that is a very complicated thing and my business that doesn't have such no a warehouse is basically that physical uh, place or it could even be sometimes uh, it could be sometimes virtual where you are storing goods or raw materials or finished products so if you have a shop where you are storing some items or where you are keeping some items that is a warehouse if for example you are a pharmacy that shelf you have is your warehouse if you have something um, at the back where for example if you go to pharmacies you will find that there is the front side where you can see where there's what looks like a display that can be considered as a warehouse and then there is another place back there where they go sometimes to get you medicine that also is a warehouse and let me tell you in europe next that shelf you have there i know that shelf. you know that it's a shelf with multiple uh locations there even those locations you can treat those as warehouses yeah and that is why we are going to see in the part number two here we have uh, let me see is it even here yeah hierarchy hierarchy this hierarchy that we have here that is what this thing means that you can have a, a, a warehouse that is a parent of other warehouses yeah so we can we can even consider that as that so that is basically what a warehouse is and i wanted to discuss very briefly what are the key characteristics characteristics of a warehouse and number one is storage location now this basically is a storage location uh, where you store you uh, uh, like a central place where your items are stored so it could be a retail shop or it could even be a virtual location which you have placed somewhere for purposes of tracking your stock that is one characteristic the second one is that there is stock tracking and what i can see here is that in europe next every warehouse tracks its own stock levels or inventory levels so the, there could be relationship between warehouses but each warehouse tracks its own inventory so uh, that's another characteristic of a warehouse characteristic of a warehouse it keeps its own inventory so you are able to tell at any one time how much stock is in whichever uh, warehouse number three is hierarchy and i already mentioned this one this is where you are able to group uh, warehouses uh, with a parent child relationship so if you have warehouses that are have a hierarchy where you have one main warehouse with small other warehouses inside and this situation is there a lot then you can also do that within your app next and the other one is purpose and in the purpose we have a number of purposes when it comes to warehouses and i have highlighted a few number one is that you can have a warehouse for raw materials though that is basically a warehouse where you store things that are supposed to be used to make other things then you have a warehouse for finished goods this is where you store goods that are ready to go into the market and then you have a warehouse that you can call distribution i mean these are just three that i have given distribution warehouse where you can store things that are you know uh, on their way out to the market you can call that a distribution uh, warehouse uh, if you can think about purposes these are just the three that i've made for the purpose of this video there can be many purposes of warehouses depending on the kind of business that you are running the other thing and the fifth characteristic that i want to discuss as the final one here is transactions involving the warehouse so i want to look at and a few like three or four transactions that we can have in a warehouse or even five number one is stock entry so you every warehouse that you, you will have in your ERP next will give you the possibility to add or 
remove uh, 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 inventory from it it could be because you are maybe uh, transferring or something like that number two is stock transfer stock transfer is where you need to move your uh, uh, inventory from one warehouse to another place it could be because you are moving it stock from one warehouse to another warehouse within your uh, your business uh, every warehouse that you're going to have within your Pinex is going to give you that capability the capability to, to uh, do transfers within your warehouses you can call them in the warehouse transfers and the third one through so the first one of stock and three the second one is uh, stock transfer the third one is sales and purchase transactions so this is where of course even the place where you are selling from or where you receive goods that is a warehouse so that's why i put this point here as purchase and sales transactions that place where you sell from or you receive goods when you're buying can also be considered a warehouse and the fourth one is stock reconciliation of course you know when you are dealing with stock there is going to be discrepancies and every uh, in, uh, every warehouse within your next is going to allow you or should allow you to do uh stock reconciliation we are done with that one the final um uh, slide we have here and then we go into to look at a few things in the demo is why warehouses matter in your next why should you even bother about them i have four points number one is real-time stock tracking i told you that every inventory manages its own stock and you know that um, if you are running a business and you're operating from some kind of a warehouse every time you sell a update is real time every time you buy or you replenish your stock the update is real time if you do reconciliation the update is real time so that's a big plus number two it's so so basically that is going to give you an ego's eye of what is happening within your business you can tell at whatever time how much stock you have within your organization you can tell what is running out on what you need to order and things like those number two is improved organization and in improved organization we can talk about management of multiple locations you know you could have like say even two three uh, locations managing those things without proper inventory management can be chaotic so if you are able to group or rather to create these warehouses then you're going to make it uh, to get it very easy managing your warehouses or your business the other point is support for multiple locations that one is a big plus and i think i already uh, mentioned it so happiness gives you support for multiple locations so you can have one location with its own warehouses another location with its own warehouses and you can manage all that thing easily within your your branch so i mean your business so these things could be branches they could be stores all these they could be some kind of kind of storage locations that you are having and then the final point i have here and the final thing i want to talk about before we go into the demo is reporting and analytics so every warehouse again i'm going to show you that one quickly you will be able to see reports for every warehouse and you can even do some analytics uh, for each and every warehouse so you're able to do these things either reporting or analytics either as individual warehouses or you are able even to do them as grouped warehouses without further ado we are going to jump into our system here let me just refresh to ensure that everything is moving is, is looking great and then i will jump into the demo now one thing the first thing that i want us to discuss is the, of course i will not go into creating warehouses because i already uh, discussed that exhaustively so we created this yeah I think we created one of these or two i don't remember but there is a video where i created this you can look for it on there you can just filter by playlist you're going to find all the videos um look for the video where we are exploring warehouses you'll find how to create a warehouse and also an explanation of what a warehouse is i want to discuss something that we call put away rules and put away rules are those things uh or that setting that allows you to set up um the holding capacity of a warehouse so if you would like to know how much of uh, item a can warehouse b hold you can do that using uh, uh put away rules yeah and this also help you such that when you're making a purchase or something or you are receiving goods into your business you don't have to worry about where what is placed the system is automatically going to place 
those items into the respective warehouses because again you can set the priorities of those warehouses when you are creating let me show you that so i'm going to put away rule list and i would like to delete these ones completely and um oh there's a material request for that so let me just go into company and i would like to delete all that data so delete transactions and my password i hope i know the password and then pairs of limited and just like that all transactions are deleted so now if i go to purchase order there isn't supposed to be anything excellent so now let me go into put away rules and now the put away rules are also gone i'm going to create two put away rules because i have uh, some warehouses in the system the first one the first thing you need to select there is the item you know which item because again every put away rule is uh depending on the item and the stock uh, not stock but warehouse so you select the item you select the warehouse so i'm going to say this is stores and you see priority the one that i was telling you i can change this to two so but i want this to be one so i want stores to be given priority when i'm making a purchase what is the capacity yeah we can see the capacity of this is 10 and this 10 you can change the uom here and i want to show you how this is done i'm going to say that this is numbers numbers and then conversion factor is there and then i'm going to save it so what i have done here i've told my system that stores only hold 10 one plus mobile phones yeah i will not uh, do with this tab i want to open another tab and show you something now we want to go into purchase order oh my goodness what have i been typing uh, purchase order here and i'm going to create a new purchase order and this is going to be for whichever supplier i quickly go here and select my phone now when i do that what happens is that the system takes the um of carton because that is the default um and let me show you something we are just buying two yeah remember that a carton here has i don't know we set up how many so um this is going to fail because we want to set up this we have not set up another put away rule so the system thinks that the only place we can place mobile phones this is one plus mobile phones is in the stores warehouse and you see the stores warehouse uh, can only take how many can only take 10 uh, 10 mobile phones not even 10 cartons so i will save this and then i'll submit it once i do that remember those are not items i need to create a purchase receipt now this is where the problem is going to come see this is receiving two cartons and now there's a button up here that says apply put away rule when i check this i'm going to have a problem you see that it tells me that the following items having put away rules could not be accommodated yeah because um these cartons cannot go into that warehouse yeah but if i go to this put away rule and i change this to carton all right you know so this one now can take up to 10 cartons and i save and i come back let me go back all the way and refresh it and then i'll go into purchase receipt and then i'll again say apply put away rule you see now there's no complaint why because we are just buying two cartons and we want to put them here now what if we are buying more uh so that that is going to be placed let me actually save this and submit so that i show you so if i do that and now i need to open another tab and take you to something we call we call warehouse capacity this report oh sorry um warehouse capacity summary yeah the only stores that show up here or the only warehouses that show up here are those that have put away rules uh, set up for them so the only one we have here currently is stores this is warehouse capacity summary so for you to show here you must have set up capacity because again i told you that put away rules basically define how much stock can a warehouse hold of a specific item so again if it can hold two of item a you put two if it can hold 10 of item b you put 10. now 
let's go back here and we put do another put away rule here for another uh, for the same item but now we see this is uh, finished goods okay and we see this is priority two remember the other one is priority one let's see this can hold up to 300 cartons cartons of uh, of the mobile phones and we save now we have two put away rules we are going to come to purchase order purchase order and we are going to create another purchase order so this purchase order oh this purchase order is going to be for this guy it's required by 30th and we are going to do one plus and we are going to order how many 50 cartons yeah uh, remember that um this warehouse can hold 10 cartons so there is no way this is going to hold all the cartons so what is going to happen here remember this is priority one this is priority two this warehouse is going to be filled first before this is given any stock so when i save this and i submit i do remember i've bought 50. i save and submit and then i do a purchase uh, receipt and i say here you see we are we are accepting 50. apply put away rules there's no problem what has happened is that where this the first warehouse we can see here there's a warehouse that has been given eight and the balance has give, been given to what looks like a different warehouse if you open here and you scroll down you notice that this is where is it this is uh we should have a warehouse somewhere here this is you see accepted warehouse stores which has height and if you go to this 42 you see that is going to be finished goods finished goods warehouse let me save and submit it so that i can show you something else now when i come to this report you remember the report that we looked about which has just one warehouse now if we refresh it it will have two warehouses and we can see that stores warehouse is now to capacity it is full it has 240 out of 240 and this one um we have capacity of uh 7200 you have uh, 1008 and this is 14 percent now, if for example, you want to change the capacity of this warehouse, maybe something has happened and you want to give it more capacity, you can just come here, change it from here. You can see it goes to put away rule, so it just basically navigates there. You can change this to maybe around 15, yeah, and then you save. When you do that and you come back to the report and you refresh it, you notice that now this tells you that out of the 360 that are possible of being put here, 240 already in, and that is 67%. The other thing that I want to brush quickly before I finish this video because I don't want it to be too long is a report called stock balance so you can also look at this this also group stock by warehouse if I generate this one you see we have two stores uh, stores I mean two warehouses stores and finished goods and you can also see a summary of how that uh, what is happening there and you can also add a filter here by warehouse I would like to end that video there if you have not already uh, followed me on YouTube, please do that because we uh, have like 20 more uh, or maybe 19, 20 more topics to come on stock alone. So I would like, wouldn't like you to miss that. And um, also, if you have not followed me on uh, LinkedIn, I'll link, leave a link on, uh, on my on, on the description of the video. Make sure you click and follow because again, that is where everything that does not come to YouTube goes. I keep updating my LinkedIn channel with the new things that I believe would help a lot of people out there to understand near happy next and to understand frappe thank you so much for being with me up to this point i hope you all the best and i hope to see you tomorrow for the next topic